Introducing the all new Fayetech Scorp 2 and Scorp Mini 2 gimbals. A powerful gimbal combo for mirrorless or DSLR cameras, all the way down to small action cameras. Both gimbals offer incredible stabilization and both now tout a new feature that makes solo filmmaking and content creation a breeze. So will they work with your camera? Find out in this review. Just a quick thank you to the team at Fayetech for sending me out these gimbals to test and review. But Fayetech aren't paying me to do this review, so any sort of findings or opinions I've got of these gimbals are mine alone. So in this day in technology, why buy a gimbal? Well, when it comes to dedicated video creators, vloggers and filmmakers, it gives your footage that seamless silky glide look, which helps give your productions better value and stops your audience from thinking you're in an earthquake. Well, that is unless you're going for that earthquake effect, of course. Unboxing these gimbals, you get a whole heap of accessories, including things like tripod feet, cables for connecting your particular camera, mounting plates, and the Scorp Mini 2 kit I received even had this little carry case for it. Inside was this little hidden section which contained more accessories like a counterweight, universal phone holder, fill light, and carbon fiber extension rod for extra reach. Both gimbals have the integrated underslung handle. Getting around these Scorp 2 and Scorp Mini 2 gimbals, they are solid little units. You can just tell by the build quality, they're well made. And that's not surprising really, given Fayetech do have a good rep for creating quality gimbals. Both of these gimbals are new model gimbals from the popular Fayetech Scorp and Scorp Mini gimbals. Now I'm not gonna go into too much in comparing these gimbals to the earlier models, Mr. Google can pretty much help you out there, but there were a couple of things that did stand out to me. Like the all new button layout underneath the 1.3 inch touchscreen. The new joystick I think works much better than the old one. I love the sleek design of these gimbals, they fit well in the hand and the buttons are well placed for easy access. Charging time I found is approximately 2 hours and the gimbals last approximately 10 hours in use. Let's talk about payload weights. You're looking at 2,500 grams or approximately five and a half pounds on the Scorp 2 and 1,200 grams or approximately 2.6 pounds for the Scorp Mini 2. To test the motor strength on the Scorp 2, I tried my Nikon Z7 with the 14 to 30 millimeter f4s lens and it handled it no problems at all. So I thought I'd step it up a small notch and tried my Nikon D750 with the 50mm f1.8 G lens. Again, no problems. So I thought I'd really go for broke and try my Nikon D850 with the 16 to 35 f4 VR lens. And it balanced and held it, no issues at all, wow. Although that is some serious weight to be lugging around there combined with the gimbal. Better do some of those bicep curls, I think. Now, one of the features that really does stand out on both of these gimbals, on the arm here, just at the top, it's got a little AI sensor with a little light underneath. And I'm gonna show you what that does in just a moment. But first, I wanna mention apps. For extra benefits, I really think you should download the Fayu Scorp and the Fayu On apps. If you really do want to get the most out of these gimbals, I do suggest you get these apps to work in conjunction with them because it opens up a whole new range of creative features like button allocation and settings you can adjust. Oh, and they're super easy and awesome for updating the gimbal's firmware wirelessly. All right, enough filming here in the studio. Let's grab these gimbals. Let's head out into the field and see what they're like.
On the Scorp Mini 2, I decided to use my iPhone, now it's an older iPhone, and my Sony ZV-1. You can also do time lapses and panoramas with these gimbals when you connect your camera and activate from the 1.3 inch touchscreen menu. So now I'm going to show you what this little sensor does on top of both of these gimbals and I'm going to use the Scorp Mini 2. It's called the Feiyu On app and it connects your phone up via Bluetooth. So at the moment I'm sitting in video, you can see up on the top left hand side there I've got the video camera, but I'm going to go into stills to begin with, I just click on that. And I'm going to get the iPhone to frame me up, but the iPhone isn't going to do it, it's the actual gimbal that's going to do it. And to do that I'm just going to give the OK symbol to the sensor, it goes green, and it's centered me up. So what happens is now I can walk either way, I can go over to the left and the gimbal will follow me. It's not essentially the iPhone that's doing this, it's the gimbal sensor that's doing it. So realistically, you don't have to have your particular camera attached to the gimbal via Bluetooth or hardwired. The gimbal itself is following me. I'm going to get the gimbal, because we're attached to my iPhone via Bluetooth, I'm going to get this to take a selfie of me. So I'm going to look for a nice background here, yeah, something around about here. Yeah, it's following me around. I'm just going to give it the hand gesture to take a photo. I'm just going to hold my hand up like this. It has a bit of a countdown. And it takes a photo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over into video mode. So again, same type of deal with the video. I'm just going to give it the OK gesture to begin with. The light goes green. I know that it's got me now. I can move around. You know, you're out in the middle of nowhere. You don't have anyone with you. This is such a great feature to have on this gimbal. So I'm going to go into record on my iPhone, I'm just going to hold up my hand. It's just going to give me the countdown. And then I can just start talking away to my phone. And I can be talking about the background where I am. So for example, I'm in this fantastic forest today. I'm going to be doing some photography. I'm going to be taking shots right throughout this woodland. I'm going to look for different compositions. So that's the great thing. It's the gimbal that's doing all the work for you. That is a very cool feature to have on a gimbal. And the great thing is the Scorp 2 and the Scorp Mini 2, both of them have that same sensor. So which one of these gimbals should you actually buy? Let's get down to the nitty gritty because I'm sure this is the reason why a lot of you have clicked on this video to watch. You really want to know which one of these gimbals is going to work with your type of camera. If you're like me and a good percentage of the cameras you own are mirrorless or DSLRs, then definitely go for the Scorp 2. The power that gimbal has is just incredible, as you've seen when balancing and using larger cameras. If you own a smaller mirrorless, mobile phone, action camera or something in the Sony ZV range, then I'd recommend you go for the Scorp Mini 2. About the max I'd go to on the Scorp Mini 2 would be something like a Sony A6700 or say a Sony ZV-E1 with a 20mm f1.8 prime lens. But if you planned on using bigger lenses on those cameras, then I'd sway towards the Scorp 2. For more information on these Fayetech Scorp 2 and Scorp Mini 2 gimbals, I've left you some links in the video description box below. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and thank you so much for watching. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.